Welcome to the various voices of Robert Arman. You need a wife, Colin McLaughlin. You need a family. You need wee bairns. McLaughlin bairns like Echen. What happened? She got shot. Jesus, Joe, I can see that. Sometimes right and wrong are not so easy to separate, you know. Sometimes a situation will make something wrong seem right and vice versa. Take some of those books they make you read in school. One, I remember, was called Moby Dick. The title made me laugh when I first saw it. I thought it was about something entirely different than what it was about. Dear Freddy, now that we've got you in the bag, signed, sealed, and almost delivered, I don't have to be so goddamn polite to you anymore. Writing that first letter to you was really tough. I had to rack my brains, brush up on my spelling, rewrite, and generally put myself to beaucoup trouble. But only one person really welcomed him. Mr. Josiah Murdo, the mortician. How's it hanging? The embalmer asked. Jackson was always good for business. Got me a wanted poster for One-Eyed Dick, the gunman said, whipping it out and waving it round and round in the bright noonday sun. By the time the government catches up with the plot, we'll have her body thawed and planted in her apartment. A suicide. So simple. So sweet. So perfect. I'm dead, aren't I? I'm dead. Women? You brought more women? Aye. Echen leaned against the railing with his arms crossed. Not just more women, but something better. He nodded at the women. Those are our brides. Say, he said, why don't we go steal ourselves a train? Yeah, Brother Bart said. Why not? Then we wouldn't have to keep moving around from place to place. We could just keep drawing our cash from the same place all the time. Yeah, they all agreed.